The video was the thrift shot video. I don't know where I got this, but whoever had it was definitely down to sell this to me because I'm sure they were sitting on this for a minute. And rest in peace to all the elderly women out there. But I have purchased many, many a fur. <laughs> From Amazon Music, it's The Walkin', honey. Oh. Welcome to The Walk-In, I'm Mo Hart, reporting to you live from Seattle, Washington, where there's a 99% chance it's always raining. Today, I'm bringing you into the closet of Macklemore! Ah! Macklemore is a multi-platinum, diamond-selling, and Grammy award-winning artist who garnered critical acclaim and a loyal fan base with his 2012 hit album, The Heist. He has continued to make hit after hit in the world of music and fashion, releasing a golf line, Bogey Boys, and his latest much anticipated album, Ben. Let's go. <laughs> Big D in the middle of <laughs> <laughs> Look, I, I came very golfer ready, yes, except for the shoes. Yeah, you yeah. know, well, we could be on court, you know. Yeah, yeah I am. Okay, but I you know, I'm it. ready. I think you can. How do, what do you hit when you? Is it a score? Mm. What What is it called? That's a different game, but yes, <laughs> you do get a score. You do get a score. Excuse me. Let's go Come check out the in. closet. Let's check out the closet. Ooh wee! Come on. Look at the legendaryness! You got money, money. You got Gucci over here. Okay, let's start here at the beginning. Now, Macklemore, your real name is Ben, and you yes. prefer to be called by Ben. We call this the Fashion Rewind, where we get to know where you got started, mm -hmm. some of your iconic looks from like back in the day. So here you go. Tell us about this. Oh, is this Bon Jovi? Bon. <laughs> Yo. Isn't it? <laughs> ah. Uh, this no, is the guy with no. the, the pink and... Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, it's close to Bon Jovi. This is actually David Bowie. That's who I meant! Yeah. Yeah. But uh... I bet they were friends. It's David Bowie, and it's from the movie Labyrinth. Have you seen the Labyrinth? No. Yes. Uh-huh. You have? It, uh, yeah, no, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't. <laughs> Yo, you have to watch the Labyrinth. It is an 80s classic. David Bowie's in okay. it. This is his fit. Mm -hmm. He's in tights. Mm -hmm. David Bowie's swinging Ooh. in the tights. I'm talking about you can't miss it. So I made this because I love that movie. I'm telling like, you, you, it's made, a classic. you made DIY? I painted this. <gasps> I painted the David Bowie. Oh my God. Yeah, and then I put the fringe on it too. I mean, it looks like... Bon Jovi. <laughs> Get out. I'm so done. Now wait a minute, this is the infamous jacket. Yes. I'm gonna pop some tags. Uh-huh. $20 in my pocket. Uh-huh. Where were you? What was the inspiration? What were you thinking? You were like, I wanna look like the Dawn. Vasa. <laughs> I would like to look like a lion in this rap video. The video was the thrift shot video. I don't know where I got this, but whoever had it was definitely down to sell this to me because I'm sure they were sitting on this for a minute. This is only a certain type of customer that comes in and yeah, wants right. to buy this jacket. Exactly. And it was me. I mean, you have to put it on. Uh, look at God, see how he answers on. prayers. Let me go run outside real quick. This is, baby, I feel like, woo! I mean. Don't I look rich? Don't I look rich? What were you feeling? What were you wanting to give that you were like, I'm gonna buy this this jacket? I love furs. When you're digging at the thrift shop to yeah. come up on a dope fur Facts. that fits you, Facts. So, it so feels true. great. And rest in peace to all the elderly women out there. <laughs> but I have purchased many Many. A fur. Oh, so you have more upstairs. Oh so so if you I let this so one many go. Fur, I have so many furs, all fake. These is real chicken wing bones too, is it? Wait a minute. It does look like that, huh? So tell me about this. Where would you hand this to? This was for the downtown music video. I remember I was on a dude's shoulders. We were on a, a moped. This was a crazy. Hoping that you, you weren't going to die, first of all. This is heavy as all get I up. mean, this is like Warriors, 80s. Yes. Cool Modi, Melly Mel, Grandmaster Flash, Furious Five, like New York. 
old school. You just, you are so cultured. You just dropping names out here. I like you. Let me go see what's in your kitchen. I feel like I would eat you. Come on, now tell me about this. This is shark tea. You Those are like sharks. to live dangerous. So Just dangerous. Lying, so dangerous. tigers and bears, killing chickens. You got snakes up here. What's going on? Same video. Downtown. Okay. Downtown music video. Do you know who made it? Yeah, my friend Logan. Logan Knights on Mady. I mean, look at, we got a, <coughs> a snake on the belt. That on With the scared. shark teeth. The hell with, out of me. Oh, they got the pants. Full, the full kit. Like what? What shoe did you Why wear? Why did I this? not wear this today? What shoe did you wear with this? A cowboy boot. A cowboy boot. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm here for that. You play soccer? Not well. You but, uh, stick to what you're good at. Rapping. Yeah, but I own the team. Oh my! Yeah. <laughs> I own the team. Tell us about that. What were you doing in your life? You were like, I want to buy a team. An opportunity presented itself. Mm. And I was like, let's put some money into some sports. Mm. I mean, baby, you did it. Here you go. So music, fashion, you own a sports team? What Two else? teams. Also, Two. the Kraken. You guys, I own such a small percentage of both of these. Shh. Things. Cut that part out. Cut that part out. You own. That's the key word. Both. I live. But the purple? You know lavender is my favorite color. I love lavender. And you know what? I have a tracksuit for you. Look at God! You see how he is blessing, keeping me, increasing? You got into music. You yeah. were six years old and you started writing at 14. Yeah. So that's right. Just, let's just call the elephant out. You are a very, very talented rapper for a white man. You shutting the girls down. You, were, I'm call a spade a spade. There's some people that are just born into this world with crazy talent. Right. It's like, oh my God. But I think that all of it comes back to hard work, Facts. and all of it comes back to staying committed to one thing and making that your all. I locked in when I was in high school and just focused on that. College, same thing. I was trash when I started, and I just kept going and I got better. How did you not get discouraged when you were like, yo, beat, throw, the deep, the throw, and your friend's like, this is trash. Right, right. And you didn't go like, ooh, maybe I'm gonna, you were like, no, I'm gonna yeah. keep going. Like you know what the difference is? The internet was around, but there was not comment sections, True. there was environability. You had to say it to somebody's <laughs> face. Fact. You had to be honest. Yeah. And people aren't honest. No. They're not gonna be like, yo, you're trash, bro. A couple people did, and that sticks with me. Those people that were like, you know what? That was not it. This one guy, we were talking. He's like, so what do you do? Like, I'm like, I rap. He's like, all right, so you rap. Let me hear you rap. Not, not right now. now, right? Not now, but you have to. Yeah. And I remember finishing, knowing it was trash. And he was just like, yeah, some people are him and you're yeah! not him. <laughs> and I was like, oh my God. I remember him. Yeah. I don't remember everyone else that was Very like, that true. was tight. Yeah. You know, and in the back of their head, they're like, this motherfucker can't catch the beat right. at all. Kids are getting that instant. Am I good? Am I, am I worthy? How do I look? All of that, that I didn't have when I was growing up. I'm, I probably would have stopped. Now, what are we gonna see Macklemore of in 2023? <laughs> okay, here we go. Truthfully, this is Macklemore. Now we are getting to meet Ben. Okay, friend. Ooh, wait a minute. Is it vintage? Please tell me it's vintage. It's not vintage. <gasps> but it is a Gucci suit. Sometimes you see this and then you look at the price tag. And you're like, oh my God. Mm -hmm. But then there's that little, that little dude in the back of your head. It's like, you worked hard. Mm -hmm. You deserve this. Mm. Why not you shine? Mm. Buy it all. And I listened. And you did. And you know what? I walk in the closet and every time I'm like, ah, I just can't do it today. You have to really step out of the house and want to be in full, all over print, monogram Gucci. Here you go, you know what? You could go to a black church mm. and stand up Any and Sunday. they would think that you're the pastor. <laughs> <laughs> you have not shunned away from the things that really bring you joy, which is thrift shopping. Yeah. So what are some of the hot things that you picked up, Mr. Ben? This. You know what it's giving me? You remember the Nintendo game, Duck Goose? Yeah, yes. yes. Duck Hunt. Duck Hunt. And you know what? When you buy this as a, I'm a dad of three. Yes. When you buy this, I'm waving the white flag. I'm gonna go walk the dog. I got my coffee. What it's shoes? Like a, these, these right, yes, beat up. Look at this. Look at these shoes. Dad shoes. Dad shoes. That's what I wear. 
Like, do you have a, a rocking chair? I feel like you need a rocking yes, chair. Yes, I have a rocking chair. Yes. You have to embrace who you are. This new album, you got very, very vulnerable about your journey with sobriety, mm. your journey and taking control of mental health. So like, tell us about that. I went to rehab for the first time in 2008. Mm. And I made a choice then coming out of rehab, like, is this gonna be something that I talk about? Mm. This is who I am, this is my journey. I, I have this disease, I have to be honest. Mm. And the way that I'm honest is through music. Mm. It's my responsibility to do something about it every day. The ups and downs have been very real. Relapse is a part of my story. I am by no means a finished product. This is daily maintenance, and I put it into the art. I love you even more. I love you even more. Okay, now tell me more about the clothes. Tell me more. The detailing. I love Saint Laurent. You know what? This is actually. This is nice. You know what this is? <gasps> this really? is. Really? So when y'all see him in there, y'all know that this is the album cover. And also, this is from the outlet. This was a deal. This is like 80% off. Outlet. Where? Palm Springs? Yeah, around there. That outlet. Yeah, that outlet. That's the nice one. I did hear yes, about that one. where you I have did, to like yeah. wait an hour to yes. get into the Gucci yes. store. Yes, 80% off, that is such a steal. I have tons, and they're not that expensive. You trick them out, you get them tailored to how you want, and you have a suit that's a lot cheaper than this, then, and yeah. you feel good about it. Yeah, this yeah, is the yeah. thing. Yeah. As beautiful yeah. as this suit is, yeah. and as much as I'm gonna be like rationalizing my head, you know, I'm gonna pass this on to my son, and da na 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 I'm gonna somehow justify that this suit was like $6,500. Yeah. As good as you, as some people might feel. In the back of my head, on the other side of the little guy that was like, buy it, there's a little guy that's like, man, you're a sucker. They got you. They got you. They got you. Oh, I like walking out of a store and being like, I got him. I got him. I got him. When I walked out with this, this was like 80% percent off. I got him. Damn, he looks sad to sell this yeah. to me, and I love that. Yeah. What is this? Because I think I want to keep it. This, oh, this is a suit. It's this, a two piece. This is Bogey Boys. This is my golf brand. How do you go about designing in? I design. I design. I work so hard. I, I work so hard. I do it. I do it. I do it all. I do it all. It was perfect during COVID because there was no show. And so I could just get in my designer bag and it's growing and it's doing amazing things. So it's a, it's a lot of work, but I love what we're doing. And I have some other pieces I would love to. Please bring them. Can I, I show? Yeah, Can please, I show? Please show me. Ooh, I see like a few things, you know. Mm -hmm. So this, this is what I was talking about the lavender. You need one I of live. these. You need one of these. It's got the, it's a full tracksuit. It's got a perfectly fit pleated pant. Yeah. I mean, you love lavender. I really we do. Have, this. You should see all the new line for the spring. Lavender, not all of it, but a healthy amount for someone who um, likes lavender. So we got you covered. Ben, if you ever need a model. Yes, that would be tight actually. This is amazing. Yeah, vintage, lightweight, bowling shirt, vibes out of Now what does bogey mean? Bogey is one over par. Who? Who? One, yep. Mm -hmm. Bogey is not that bad. But what is one over par? par now what does bogey perfect. mean? Now what does bogey mean? Oh, it's, a it's, par it's a four. golf term. It's a golf term. I thought bogey was like your version of saying like white boys have flavor. It's that too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I heard that you started this clothing line because you said that you were very like bored with the fashion for golf. Less than desirable. Look, I would go into like a pro shop uh -huh. trying to spend some money and you have navy, you have khaki, you have white. You, you just look the same as everybody else. Yeah. So I wanted to create something that I would wear on the golf course, I would wear off the golf course, but was authentically me. One question real quick. Why didn't you just wear what you wear and say, fuck y'all, I paid my money, let's go. That's a great question. You have to have a collared shirt. You, oh, have, to, have, to. you have to, you have to tuck in the shirt. Like these are like the old guard of golf etiquette. These oh. country clubs are old school. We obviously don't subscribe to any of that. Right. And we're trying to push the boundaries of fashion and then just where we can take the game period in terms of everyone being able to play. I feel like this season that you're in with your new project, with all of these projects, you just seem like at peace and everything just feels like it's falling into alignment. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make that into a soundbite okay, and play it every day in those moments of 
chaos. I'm gonna put you on my Confusion. prayer list. I'm gonna put you on my prayer list. Yes. Watch. I appreciate um, that. This has been amazing, Ben. We have gotten to fall in love with you just hearing your story and all of your projects. What do you got going on? Where can we listen to your music? The music, it's all cassette only. Cassette! Um, yep. Amazon Music, you gotta go to Amazon Music. Very excited to have it out into the world. I live. We have walked in, now we're about to walk out. Can I get that other fur coat from the attic, please? Mm -hmm. Let's go pick yeah. that up, let's go pick yeah, that up. I got you. Thank you so much for watching The Walking. Click here to subscribe and click here to watch more episodes of The Walking. And click right here to listen to my brand new album, Ben, right here on Amazon Music. Bye.